Unbelievable. Alan, let's do this. Let's come back and take calls. And then at the end of the last segment, let's get into a little bit of solutions. But we're going to have you back up for more of that as well. But I guess what you're saying is the big solution is becoming aware of this matrix of propaganda and social engineering and really getting upset about it and really talking human to human about the ruling elite and their program for humanity and ask the public, do you like being controlled? Do you like being poisoned? Do you like everybody being blubbery and, and, and bleached skin and unhealthy and zits all over the place? I mean, do you like being poisoned? Do you like the, half the kids in your neighborhood dead or dying of diseases or cancer? I mean, is this what, because it's only going to get worse. I mean, is it fun? I mean, to, to cops out there, is the petty power, the petty manhood rituals, is it fun? Do you like being used? Are you going to serve this? 90% of you will, unless you are conscious of the manipulation. We'll be right back with Alan White. I'm Alex Jones. Our websites are InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Those are the two big twin motherships. And we have the auxiliary attack frigates in the InfoWar, InfoWars.net, PrisonPlanet.tv, JonesReport.com, WhatIsTheEndGame.com. The list goes on and on. FallToTheRepublic.com, the ObamaDeception.net, and about 20 other sites. <laughs> Or more. We did that because we get attacked and hacked over the years. And my rule is I start more websites when I'm attacked. And I mean, we, and I mean bona fide real attacks. Alan Watt, always amazing to interview him. Cutting to the matrix dot com. What are some of the other backup sites you've got as well, Alan? I've got uh, a whole bunch there uh, <laughs> because I'm, I, the same thing happens. In fact, it's through Yahoo. Yahoo pulls them once in a while for two months, uh, uh, two weeks at a time or three weeks. Uh, the I'm the only person on the planet that can't find out what's wrong, what the problem is. And after about three weeks, I'm back up. But then I have, I have to spend weeks uploading up to those sites to catch up again. It's all harassment techniques. So I've got cutting through dot Jenkins dot com, cutting through the matrix dot net dot us dot ca, Alan Watt cutting through the matrix dot ca, and a European site Alan Watt sent in Sentinel dot eu. And I've got another another one on standby right now too. Good. Okay, let's go to some phone calls. Let's talk to Robert in West Virginia. Robert, you're on the air. Okay, uh, Shelly in Texas, you're on the air. Go ahead, Shelly. Hi, Alex. I spoke to you a couple of days ago, and I was telling you about my son that I had just enrolled in school, and I wanted to find out what I could do as far as the vaccine and everything. Um, I live right outside of Houston. I went to my son's nurse yesterday and asked her for the vaccine exemption form. She said she has nothing like that. She didn't want to give me any information. She She's a liar. Basically. Understate. Okay, you have to go to the health department. Let's do this live on TV right now. Guys, Google Texas vaccine exemption form. And we will be on the state health department. And you just print it off and you mail it in. And if the criminals at that school who get money for shooting your kid up, their, their federal funds are almost exclusively tied to that. It's so important the government wants that. That, that that you then go in and you give it to them, and then that they're open for massive criminal charges if they try to kick your child out. But see, their criminal charges on your child are for truancy when they kick them out. That's what they talk about arresting you for shots. They're total criminals. So uh, there it is, okay? Uh, there is the state of Texas, Texas vaccine exemption form, and you just Google that, and you can print the form off. Secure online request for exemption affidavit. And uh, there's copies of them online, but I guess here the state's now making you ask to screw it up, but they've got to give it to you. I'm sorry, man. I don't mean to get mad. I'm just so tired of lying criminals. But again, this this evil woman or man, they feel like it's good, like, like a death camp operator. Oh, they're helping by lying to you. And believe me, a school nurse knows they're lying. Alan Watt. Yes, they do. Uh, now, there's some true believers in the profession that brainwash themselves. In fact, the big boys say that. The first ones you have to brainwash are the ones who manage the rest of the public. And a lot of them truly believe it. But there's a lot of nurses, too, that, that uh, understand that they've seen the effects of uh, inoculations. Yeah, that's why close to 60% are saying no in New York. Shelley. Uh, yeah, New York State, actually. This is the thing with New York State. They made it a policy, the big board that controls the health authority for New York State, a policy, and they said in the policy there will be no exemptions for religious or philosophical or, or, or even, even diabetic reasons. Uh, this is for the first time in their history they've actually even brought diabetics. Yeah, even if your doctor, 
Because yeah. this is key. You can find an anti-vaccine doctor by Googling it in any major city. If you're in a small town, you may have to go to a big city. They will give you a medical exemption. And they admit on the flu shots hundreds of things. If you've got allergies, you're not supposed to take shots because they admit that it is going to cause an autoimmune response. But but now they're trying to say, we don't care if a medical doctor says no. We got SWAT teams who want to kill. They want blood. Take the cancer shot. Shelly, what are you facing right now? I called the immunization branch there in, uh, there in Austin, and the lady laughed at me yesterday on the phone. She said there is no exemption form. for. I was asking specifically for the swine flu. Um, and she said ma'am, there ma'am, is ma'am, no ma'am, form ma'am, ma'am, Obama's been on TV saying you don't have to take it. Okay, it, so she told you you have to? No, she said that it's it's not mandatory, and there is no form that I can file. But, I can it, but then let me guess, Houston's trying to force you to take it, though. That I don't know. Okay, I'm well, well, a lot. But you said that, the, ma'am, it's a general vaccine waiver form, so that when they try, well, it's it's all over Dallas Morning News, they're trying to make Texas kids take it. So see, the, see, the, Alan, what do you call these ring around the rosy mind games, this blob of con artist play, where they'll go, you don't need an exemption, it's not mandatory, but you have to take it. What do you call that mind control, Alan? It's a, it's a form of double think. Uh, when you get into this double think, we can believe two opposing ideas at the same time. Uh, then you can't think rationally for yourself. You give up and just go along with them. That's what that's what most folks do. You give up and go along. Yeah, stay there, Alan. I want to hear more from you, Mark, and others. Shelley, look, the general vaccine form. Your kid's not taking vaccines. Okay, period.